She's one of the few presidential candidates commonly identified by just a first name. The name Tulsi. I just love the name. Is there a story behind it? It is, yeah. It is a, um, it's a sacred flower from India. Uh, my mom is practicing Hindu and my dad's Catholic. And uh, so all five of us kids in our family, we were all given uh, Hindu names. Tulsi Gabbard says she was a tomboy growing up in Hawaii who taught herself how to surf on a friend's board. It was, I think, a seven foot long board, but it was very narrow and they use it for big wave surfing, like 20, 25 foot waves. Uh, not for a beginner who's trying to learn. <laughs> it's very hard to get up and balance on. The ocean is a refuge for the congresswoman, and environmentalism was one of her first passions. To raise awareness among Hawaiian youth, she created a superhero character, Water Woman, whose arch nemesis was known as Oily Al. We were uh, presenting to, you know, first, second, third, and fourth graders primarily. And every time Oily Al was about to do something, like, you know, he's changing the oil in his car and about to dump the oil, the dirty oil down the storm drain, Water Woman would swoop in <laughs> just in the nick of time and oh stop him God. and tell him, here's why that's such a bad idea. She got an early start in politics, but says her service in a medical unit in Iraq gave her life new direction and made her an outspoken opponent of war. When I came back, a lot of my colleagues in the state house then said, okay, great, you're home, you can come back, run for your old seat, get back to life as you had left it. And I just, there, I just couldn't. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.